Pete here and I'm back for Hand of the Week now. This hand came from the Victorian Open Trials that I was playing with uh, Justin Mill. And it, we unfortunately lost by two imps on the final board. But uh, this hand here was a really interesting hand that I wanted to bring up. And it highlights the meaning of passes that you can actually use. Anyway, uh, so here the opponents opened five diamonds in front of me. And I doubled. And the way that we play double is this isn't strictly penalties. It's takeout-ish. I either have a hand kind of like what I do here, or I have just, you know, a stack of points which can be converted either into penalties or for takeout. So it's sort of like an optional double. Does my partner want to take it out if they've got a good distributional hand, or do they want to uh, leave it in? And usually my partner would pass this the vast majority of the times, except when they've got very distributional hands they're happy to, to bid on. So basically it means I won't just double on a stack of diamonds. It's basically the only difference we have here. Now I went pass and Joe's came in with six spades. And this went pass to me. And I got a pretty decent hand, but I've already shown a hand that's got something for a takeout double. And I'm like, maybe we can make Grand Slam, but I don't really like to punt Grand Slams. There's a wide variety of hands that uh, he could have that could jump to six spades. Um, so here I chose to pass. And now my left hand opponent thought for quite a while and now bids seven diamonds, which just passed. And here I wanted to highlight the meaning of this pass here. Now, here the opponents are clearly sacrificing. So there is no way we should let them play undoubled. So our choices are either double them or bid on. So this pass here is definitely forcing. And what I like this to mean is either he's got first round control of diamonds and wanting to know if I want to bid on, or if I'm the one that's most likely shown the first round control or might have it, his pass says, do you have first round control to bid on? So here when it went past, looking at the void uh, diamond, I know Juz now doesn't have any wastage in diamonds. He's got a hand that's still willing to try and compete to seven or bids a grand slam here. And he wants to know, do I have first round control? Looking at this void, I had a marginal seven spade bid before, maybe. But here, when partner passes, uh, I thought I had a clear uh, seven spade bid. So I passed... And that went all pass, and we got the ace of diamonds lead. And Justin's hand was like this with his 10 count. And basically he can trump uh, three, or well, trump two diamonds, and discard a heart and a diamond on the ace queen of clubs. So he can draw trumps. We've got an 11 card fit. So we had a grand slam here. The other table only managed to get to four spades. So obviously not a five diamond opening. So I don't actually know how they got there. Maybe it went four diamonds, double pass. And South's like, do I just bid four spades or do I try for slam? And that's my guess of how the auction panned out. But here, we managed to bid to a really good grand slam. Uh, the opponents did balance with seven diamonds, but here, just the meaning of the pass over that seven diamonds. I think it's a really critical one, and I just wanted to highlight that. So I hope you enjoyed this hand. I also had a viewer submitted hand, so let's have a quick look at that. So here, this hand was sent in by double CRB, and basically said uh, slams both ways go off on the right lead also we chose the wrong minor to sacrifice in and here the auction went one spade and he bid two no trumps for the minors and then it went four spades to play five clubs pass pass five hearts six clubs double all pass and south actually led a heart and that gets trumped and they got to draw trumps uh, clubs weren't three nil and just losing one diamond. Obviously, if South led the Ace of Diamonds and a Diamond Rough would beat it, if they chose to play in Diamonds, then they'd have to lead a club, which is a really difficult lead. Here, what I find interesting is that uh, they bit to six clubs, they got doubled, and the person on lead with two Aces chose to lead a different suit, which uh, kind of makes sense on this auction that their partner bid five hearts, but it's, it's kind of interesting when you hold two Aces against a slam and choose not to lead either of them. Um, after you double and it's still rolled home and made um, so cool 
slam swing here, really distributional hand, uh, only 16 combined points, but massive double fits, and the voids made his hand pretty cool. So thanks for sending in this hand. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you want to send me hands, just message me hands in BBO. Um, I'll, if I really like them, I'll put them into hand of the week. And thanks all for watching. I wanted to put out a big thanks to all my patrons that want to support me. If you want to do likewise, uh, check in the comments below. Uh, there'll be a link to patreon.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.